find him here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... That's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name, uh, Sarah, then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay, keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about... Here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... No, no, like no, that. I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. Don't you... Oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no! De no, you're not... No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to Deacon, listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. We're losing him. Wait! All right. All right, all right. Hey, hey, okay. You know you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. Lake camp, and I know, <laughs> I know. I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but didn't have a choice. See, Boozer, Boozer was gonna die, and uh, well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and and now he's stuck. I mean. We're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento, Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team, peddling sodas at a mini martyr. No, 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 man, he would've, <laughs> he would've had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm, making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, make them more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game that Boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the ship went down, you know? You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the ship went down, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe 
just because I was telling the truth. <sighs> I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Ryan, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one Let of these tracking the devices. Set up no, don't, risk. not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Standing by. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject, a freak, that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You... <laughs> You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. O'Brien! Well, I'm still working on the info you want, don't ask. Then why the hell am I talking to you? O'Brien oh, out. Sound on, people. I'm good. I'm clear. He's clear. Doc, you're good to go. I'm almost done. Let me know if you need anything. Shit, I don't know. <coughs> I heard something not getting sick. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Just stay close to hey, Doc. her. Right yeah. over again. I never got that. Got what? Easier said than Whole stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean, the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. But before the freak show... I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. What the hell is she doing? Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is she done? Yeah, okay, time to get the hell out of Dodge. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien? Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh boy, this is gonna get a little fast. I've been, uh, 
Thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick a dynamite there, there, and there. We bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. You got my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do? Where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one? Still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. 
Shit, I mean, to see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that. While we're up, I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. The extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county. Keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after... Joe was killed. And I... Here! No! Turn right! Here! This is it! <sighs> Mike. The place is gonna be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holes will be safe enough. Alright. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah. I think I do. You heard what happened here? Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. in. The ammo was gone. Two sides called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long. But it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and... Well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. 
Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days, I wish the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die? On either side? Never mind. Come on. Let's get this done. Okay. All right. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay down. I got this. Freaks. Bringing the whole goddamn town down on us. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. So about the Rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit? No, Deke. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did would stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. 
Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh... I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. Like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. <laughs>